Jonathan Montgomery ate a cheeseburger, bought clothes at Walmart, and settled into his first night of freedom in four years. Ten of your side was the first to report Governor Bob McDonald pardoned him. And today, Montgomery met with us at his attorney's office to tell us what the last 24 hours mean to him. Andy Fox is here now with more on this story. Andy? You know, Nicole, what a great story. Finally free. Montgomery basically stayed up all night. He had 1,937 emails and emailed friends telling them of his newfound freedom, telling them of his new friend, Governor Bob McDonald, who in Montgomery's words righted a wrong, giving a conditional pardon. For Jonathan Montgomery, it's the simple things. How does the sun feel in your face? Oh, it feels good. I haven't had sun in my face since, uh, I don't know, six months ago when I went outside in, in the rec yard out there. And Inside the Hampton Public Defender's Office, the sunlight warmth of friends. Thank you. At the news conference, a profound wisdom that shed light on what is real. To appreciate everything in life as well is... is you know, every small thing, to be able to call somebody when you want to, to be able to eat what you want, to be able to go out in public whenever you want to. I mean, it's all the small things that, that you don't know that you lost until you actually lose them. Four years of prison ended Tuesday night. Jonathan was back in the arms of his mother. The sad tears turned happy. She still can't believe it. I had to um, check with my friend and ask her, did we really go get him? Did, did, did it really happen? He's really out. Did, I'm, I'm not dreaming that this is for real. Sitting next to his attorney, who in four years never gave up hope. His four-year suffering of, of being wrongfully incarcerated is over, and um, so he gets to decide what it means and, and how he gets to go on with his life. The nightmare suffering born out of Elizabeth Coast judicial evil, a trumped up lie of sexual assault that sent an innocent man to prison for four years. When Jonathan heard she had recanted. I was, I was mad, I was livid, I was crying, I was angry all at the same time. And As he eats pizza in a happier place, Jonathan remembers the important lesson of not giving in to the hate of others. You got to keep hope and you got to keep alive. You got to keep positive attitude because if you don't, you just, you're going to, you're going to destroy yourself. It, and, and I've kept all the hope and I've kept talking to my attorney. Pavic. Attorney Ben Pavick and his Hampton public defenders put together a team that made this happen. Along with the Mid-Atlantic Innocence Project, the legal team successfully found a friend and a sympathetic ear in Governor Bob McDonald. Tonight at 6, I'll report on where Jonathan goes now, what his tattoo means, why it's a window into his soul, and what he did when he found himself going through what he calls hell. That tonight at 6. I'm Andy Fox, 10 on your side.